Let's take a quick look at what is new in the 2x2 and 3x3 grow space. Spider Farmer is a company that I have done well with and I will be reviewing the SF1000 EVO. So let's take a quick look at the PPFD maps, the heat readings, and the actual power consumption. Up to 60 of these lights can be combined together and more thought has been put into heat dissipation and will prolong the life of this grow light. As a matter of fact, this one has a five-year warranty. So here is the uh, Spider Farmer EVO over cucumbers and it's a beauty of a light. The dimmer knob has settings for 20, 40, 60, 80, and a 100 watt setting. Individual diodes have all checked out. In a grow space that is currently set to 74 degrees Fahrenheit. After running the light on full brightness for a while, it was time to take a few heat readings using a heat gun that was calculated uh, to measure the heat off the board. Keep in mind that some of the variance in the heat reading could be accounted for by the placement of diodes, which are in closer areas along the edges and less populated in the middle. The overall Kelvin temperature appears to be slightly cooler than some of the previous models of LED grow lights that I've received from Spider Farmer. At 100% brightness, I'm measuring around 99.1 watts of electricity. I've noticed that the dimmer knob requires a little bit of precision in lining up with the 80% and 60% and other measurements. So around 80% I am looking at right around uh, 78.63 watts and if you have an electrical tester if you're going to be using the uh, dimmer knob I would suggest that you could use that as a cross check to make sure if it matters to you that you are precisely dialed in to whatever electrical pole that you would like to see. 60% on the dimmer knob for me is coming in around 52.16 watts and I would suspect that it's the same thing that the uh, dimmer knob is a little touchy and I would certainly uh, suggest if you're not going to use the maximum to at least use an electrical tester to get precisely dialed in. At the 40% reading, I'm seeing around 37.35 watts. And at the 20% on the dimmer knob, around 15.83, 15.82 watts. Well, it's been about uh, a little over a day since setting up the Spider Farmer SF1000 EVO light. Now, one of the biggest differences that I've noticed one is the Samsung uh, diodes. The chips that are on this board are the LM301 series, and they're high efficiency. And the other is the uh, diode placement with more emphasis on the outer corners of the light. Now, the first part of this video, I showed you the initial uh, heat readings. Now, since that time, I went back and uh, shot some more heat readings after the light had been on for quite a while. And what I found was uh, the temperatures did come up a, quite a bit. As a matter of fact, uh, around 110 degrees. And with that in mind, um, cooling could be a little bit of an issue depending on how enclosed your grow space is. Now, in addition to that, I have the light set 18 inches above the plants and one of the things that I noticed uh, 
is that the uh, light tends to spread out as it comes down over the top of those plants from 18 inches on a hanging height. So if you're in a uh, two foot by two foot grow space, a tent would help to rein in that light and reflect it back inwards. And I would say that uh, this would be a nice light for either a uh, two foot by two foot or a two foot by four foot uh, grow tent if you were to use two of those lights, one on each side of the uh, wider grow tent. Now, the other thing would be some lights, um, such as this one, which has the dimmer knob in it, you could have it at maximum brightness at a higher height, or you could lower the light closer to the top of the plants and turn that uh, knob back. And what that will do is it'll give you the same PPFD if you uh, set that correctly but uh, the light will be more focused on a smaller area. So if you are wanting to get the uh, maximum benefit in an open grow area, that's probably the route to go is to lower the light and back off the intensity just a little bit and that way it'll be dialed in for that two foot by two foot uh, grow space where most of your big plants can, can be uh, grown successfully. So what I'm gonna show you right now is the uh, PPFD map from the manufacturers at the 12 inch uh, hanging height. And also at the uh, 14 inch and the last um, PPFD map that they have provided is at the 18 inch. So uh, with those PPFD maps in mind, I will tell you that at the 18 inch hanging height uh, without the uh, tent walls around that I am losing a little bit of that light uh, intensity because it is coming down over the plants more. That would be um, the benefit in addition to the efficiency of this particular Spider Farmer Grow Light. So stick around. I'm going to probably end up doing a uh, grow series on the Spider Farmer Light and see how well it does in terms of actual performance in growing plants. And that'll probably span a few weeks, but uh, hopefully this helps you with your grow light decisions.